How you doing, everybody? Uh, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a targeted individual is, it is a person like myself who has been chosen to undergo extrajudicial human experimentation, experimentation into mind control via MK Ultra like uh, covert druggings, remote neural monitoring infection with Morgellons at an accelerated rate, exposure to chemtrails, gang stalking, toxin, poison, and of course, the ubiquitous mind control. Excuse me. Um, whenever I talk about this, I have a panic reaction, post-traumatic stress reaction because of all the trauma that we've undergone. Um, what I wanted to talk to you tonight about is insomnia, <laughs> sleep deprivation, and uh, the resulting psychosis that comes from it. <clears throat> um, before this targeting took on its full-scale uh, program, before it became mind-blowing, uh, I used to sleep fine. I slept like a baby. I would get my eight hours of sleep. I could do with less. Uh, occasionally I would take medication in order to work long and hard hours. But I slept like everybody, a normal person. Um, recently, since the this traumatic experience of, of uh, being tortured and tormented and finding out that in fact we were targeted and undergoing uh, insane uh, genetic, you know, I don't know, once you have more gallons and you're exposed to these chemtrail, bio, nano machines, you undergo, your body undergoes a change and you have these things living inside of you and building things inside of you. I don't know how it's done, <clears throat> the sleep deprivation, the, the insomnia, because now I do not sleep unless I take medication. Um, let me say this again. Now, I do not sleep unless I have medication. And what this means is that I can be up for days and days and weeks, you know. Um, unfortunately, after about one day without sleep, you get grumpy and cranky and emotionally label. You, you uh, have a hard time restraining yourself from getting angry or frustrated or sad things affect you more deeply uh, you make decisions less rationally and um, you find that you're generally frustrated uh, after two days of sleep deprivation all of the things that I just said are increased uh, many fold and you begin to see little spots and dots and things in your vision after uh, approximately 72 hours of sleep deprivation, all of the things that I said are uh, exponentially true, plus you begin to become psychotic. And if it continues, you can have a psychotic break. Uh, this is a fact. We know this. For human beings, they need sleep. It is required to rebuild your body. It is required for your subconscious to integrate with your conscious is required uh, there are a few people in the world that don't require sleep uh, how they live I don't know usually they claim they get a few naps here and there a few hours um, what I do is I take medication over-the-counter medication or doctor prescribed medication in order to get some sleep because <clears throat> even medicated sleep, sleep that is not fully REM sleep, it, it does enough to satisfy some of the needs that your body has. However, as I look at myself, as this disease progresses, as the stress progresses, as the remote neural connectivity continues, the subconscious programming, the suicide programming, the blah, 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 
voice to skull they call it, but it's part of remote neural connection. Um, as that continues, I've watched myself denigrate, degrade, my health has declined, I have, my beard has turned white, I have these deep wrinkles under my eyes, and dark blue blood pooling under my eyes from the small capillaries that burst when you don't sleep, and um, I'm aging. Uh, I was reading about Mark Gallons yesterday of the Capricorn Institute website. This man has done a great deal of research since 1999 about Mark Gallons and uh, is actually breaking down some of the chemical and biochemical processes that this syndrome of man-made biological weapon, uh, what it does to your body, how it interacts, how it takes energy from your body, how it uses uh, the iron, the ferrous two iron extracted from your hemoglobin in order to create ferrous three iron that it, like a bacteria, can use as energy transfer mechanism. And he figures out exactly how many joules of energy it, it drains from your body in order to do this process. He goes through the entire thing in his thesis. Um, he shows a great deal of evidence about the structures that are being built and, and he postulates on many of the I don't know, I, I recommend reading this stuff. I, I've only begun to glance at it. Um, for those of you who don't know what Mark Ellens is, uh, I suggest you Google it. Uh, it is a man-made syndrome where uh, combining the three groups, the three branches of life, uh, functions from the three branches of life into a single organism or instruction set uh, I believe that it's nanotechnology however it's either life or it mimics life it has instruction sets using DNA or GNA um, and it builds fibrous silicon based fibrous things it, it seems to have a, a nanotubule delivery system that contains uh, a payload that is then delivered. Uh, it also resembles some sort of mold spores that grow inside of your body. It tends to break apart the red blood cells and the hemoglobin carries less oxygen. And these fungal type growths begin to grow in the bloodstream. Um, it's a very interesting bit of technology and if some of the research that I've been seeing is correct about the, the things that it's building, gold deposits and silicon and uh, crystalline structures. Those of us who know basic electronics, if you google crystal radio, uh, back in the days when I was a child and before World War I, uh, so there was crystal radios. You could build a radio, you can still do it, out of uh, a razor blade and uh, a piece of uh, graphite from a pencil, uh, you know, bits of wire, and aluminum foil, a wax paper, a pair of high impedance headphones, and a long antenna. Um, basically, each of these things has uh, electrical properties that resemble uh, capacitors, resistors, diodes. Etc. And you can actually build an AM receiver using parts like this. <clears throat> uh, there's models and, and circuits that you can find online. So what that tells me is that all crystals, um, crystals vibrate um, when you put energy into them. It's piezoelectric. They vibrate at a certain frequency and um, this guy at Capricorn, he actually talks about frequency-dependent reactions in the Morgellons. I have to send this video up now.